So like I was saying earlier, guys, that gives you a place, that template, you can see where that wire runs. The Audrey One presents the Big Board Build Series here on YouTube, where we take a 2022 Harley Davidson logo mounted and build a touring performance bagger, which will be known as the Big Board. That's what we're talking about, coping out that license plate. And then you can see Chris putting the license plate frame around that. So it is morphing from the limited to the special. So it's half and half. Chris is going with the Aphasia lights by Custom Dynamics. So he does these little uh, screwdriver thingy to the red stuff and then does the flippy pull back tear off. He's already pre-scratched them. And I've already cleaned the fender off. Once again, folks, Chris and I was just talking about how sticky those fascia stickums are on the back of that. You take your time like Chris is doing there, make sure <laughs> you get ready. Before you stick them. Because they will stick. Yes, and that's how they mount. I mean, they stick on. I didn't know that at first, but once you get them on there. <laughs> They're not coming <laughs> off. The Limited is becoming the Big Boar Limited Special. You'll know what I mean if you get it. So guys, you can see we took the bar off, added this plate, which took care of the hose, then added the license plate cover on top with the LED lights on it, the fascia lights to the right and left, and the plug inserts, and then the tri bar at the bottom here. Then we'll move on to the tour pack and everything that we're gonna do up there. So all the custom dynamic lighting will go on here. So it's the wrap around piece of lights that go here and then there are arms that go underneath as well as the insert that goes right up here behind the backrest of the rider. And we also got lights inside the saddlebag or the tour pack. I don't know oh, which. All three. All three. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Yeah, so uh, you're gonna have two in the saddlebags and then one in the tour pack. All so. right, man. It's really cool seeing these come to life on the big board build though, because we've been talking about it for some time and going over with Custom Dynamics and Chris and the whole crew with Larry here at Picture Harley Davidson, how we want the big board to look light wise. Uh, of course me, I'm just like, let's give it all it's got, Captain. All it's got. There's one plug to the left there. There's a fascia light to the left. Little clip. There goes the fascia light on the right side, and now the plug light just plugged in there. Chris got it going. Oh man! And we have the magic strobe that we'll be putting in as well. Like Chris said, nine different settings. There's one setting. There's another setting. I guess two. This is setting three. See, they all have a different pulse rate and timing. I think that's nothing. Oh, wow. Huh. And then you got... So that's a slower, longer pulse. Those first ones were really fast. That's cool too. It's more of a turning signal feel to me. Okay, so they're... Just longer paces and basically pace patterns and amount of strobing, I guess that would be. Hit it one more time on that one, Chris. Okay, so it's two pulses with a pulse in between. Five. A little bit longer strobe with a more pause in between. This There's is just so back much. to what we were before. Yeah, this is back to what we were, so. Very cool. Hit the second one there, Chris. Go back to the... Yeah, the Good. next setting after that one. Oh. I think we'll leave it right there. So that is actually on setting seven. We can change that anytime we want to, and we may do that after we get the bike all together. 
once again, Chris, will that work in with our tour pack lights as well? Yes, we have another module that will go right in because uh, the tour pack is a different circuit than the rear lighting. Uh, the, rear, the rear lighting is a 12 volt reference versus the uh, tour pack lighting is actually uh, basically a five amp. It's for LEDs. So therefore that's why you do two different modules because of the way that the BCM reads the voltage, so. Okay, so in lay, layman terms, uh, yeah, they're gonna flash the same, but they're on a different. It's, it's, it has to do with the BCM, it's the, their, their voltage, how, okay. how it, it works. So that's why you need two different modules. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, you know, once again, taking the time to explain to me, although sometimes I really don't get it and I just shake my head up and down as Michael Scott does whenever he gets explained to about having a surplus. And um, I get it. Looking at the custom dynamic lights that go inside your tour pack, it's the first time we've seen them. Well, I'm excited about it. Because a lot of times, Steph and I will run in late at night and then in a hurry, alone in the evenings, needing to see more, trying to get our phone light on or flashlight dropping shit all over the ground. That's another thing I like about the body lights by Custom Dynamics, because you can turn them on white, and it's actually a function that we use, because then we know and we can see if we dropped anything on the ground unloading, or even loading sometimes. Did you guys know this? The upgrade tour pack lights for Harley-Davidson do not have the antenna spots? Chris just told me that. We'll talk more about that when we go and saw the LED tour pack light bar. You put these on yet? Yes, I've done a lot of okay. these. So basically what it does is take Harley stock. Number one, we're going to smoke, so uh, which looks a lot nicer, on, especially on this gray. Um, but what it does is it does a three function. So it turns this into run brake yep. and turn signal also. So it, it does more functions than the Harleys. Uh, Harleys just have some out that are the same way. But like I said, uh, with the the collection we're going with we're going custom dynamics yes absolutely i'm gonna check them out too like chris said they got more function than the harley davidson ones and there's all your wiring for your tour pack uh-huh and a bonus and an extra bolt from the old factory. The old factory lost my boat. So Custom Dynamics does make a module that you can plug into these and they will change the function of these a little bit. If you still want it the OEM look, but you want a different function with the lights, uh, they do offer a module that will plug right into where I'm plugging in right now. That will plug in and then plug in there and then it will change the function of the light. Okay. Rather That's than cool. changing out the whole light. That's cool. Got some options there. Um, once again, we'll, I'll show you kind of side by side once Chris gets them unpackaged there. Like Chris is saying, this is OEM, part by Harley Davidson. The tour pack arms, and then here's the custom dynamics Chris is getting out. Like he said, they're smoked. We went with smoked on there, which we think is going to look a lot better on this bike. So you can see a comparison between the two. And these will do the function, of course, turning signals, brake, and running lights. It's pretty cool, though, that Custom Dynamics gives you the option, if you want to keep the OEM, that they'll put that in line so you can get, which we all want, brake and turning signal. It only makes sense. But it's a Harley-Davidson thing, right? Just plug it into their existing uh, harness. That's how oh, yeah, it's I jumping to, to get that, power. Chris. And then you put the two legs back into the tour pack and then that's how you're going to power up your lights. Cross that wire. Can I have no crossed wires? <laughs> Chris doing these things with these wires. Also what you want to do on the inside of the tour pack is try to follow the stock lines just like OEM. That way when you're putting the plate back down you don't pinch any wires because if you pinch wires then You'll have codes and no lights. Yep, and you'll be wondering, well, like, what the hell happened? As you can see, that top plate that goes on there, which is super important because that sandwiches 
your tour pack down. I've learned that the hard way. You want that support. And if you run it OEM way, and you won't pinch your wires. Oh, those look so much better. So now you're seeing the ass end of the big board grow and get bigger and thicker and more sexier. The next thing, these are coming off. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the light bar. So we're gonna remove all these screws. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight screws. Uh, and a little trick with these, I'll show you in a second how to get that plug off. Oh. Um, it's kind of tight. Harley doesn't leave you a lot of room right there in there because they actually will install the plug out of the bike and then install the, the they will slide it on here after they got the plug installed. That's the little trick, <laughs> just to do it outside the bike. What Chris was explaining there is they put the clip on, then put the lot bar on. Yeah. So you wanna go ahead and then pull your lot bar out, then undo your clip. Instead of trying to do the clip in here. <laughs> it's, all, Which, yeah, it's really super tight and all you do is end up keep hitting in there and getting yourself frustrated. Yep. So. so pull that bar off and then undo the clip like Chris was saying. And then I kind of wanted to show you guys the comparison between the two. So once again, this is OEM, Harley Davidson, that's gonna come factory. And then Chris has got the custom dynamic lighting. It just looks so much better. Really quick too, what we wanna talk about, if you get the replacement by Harley Davidson, the OEM replacement, that it does not have the placement for your antenna. So no CB or radio antenna placement, but the custom dynamics. Of course, they did think of it and they have the placement for that. Uh, so with the, the Harley upgraded light bar, as you can tell, there's no placement for antennas. So you will lose ability to have this uh, CB and your external antenna. Then you would have to go to an internal antenna, which they are not very good <laughs> as reception wise. Everyone knows that, that when they switch to, to an internal one or a hidden antenna, that you'll lose a lot of your, recep your receptions. And especially any kind of, if you like that radio station that you know is kind of not as powerful, but you like that station, you won't be able to pick it up without that external antenna. Yeah, and you can clearly see the upgrade from Harley Davidson, no antenna placement at all. No. Now what we want to brag about the custom dynamic lighting is of course it's sexy, but it allows you to have both antennas on an aftermarket. You can get that snapped in. It's a little easier to do it when it's outside the bike. And I have noticed that sometimes it, it helps a little bit to get it back in is to go ahead and install the antenna mounts first. Pulls it up a little bit, snugs it in. Oh yeah. You do have to use their CV connecting because it's a little longer, so. Uh, That's what she said. Meh. <laughs> you want it on number seven, right? Seven. Lucky seven. That's already on seven. That's, they knew it. Whoa, holy shit, man. Amazing. And on this, you're gonna see Chris kind of do it Chris's way here. 
he's going to drill a hole actually in the tour pack and run the wires down through there which you don't have to but like i said this is chris's way so just just beautiful from factory that way I can see clearly now you drilled a hole in it. It's gonna be all right, all right. Intended install would be to run it. You stick it here, and then you run it down here. Right. And then you run it down there. Which is, if you have it, it's fine because it does hide it. I just don't like the wire hanging out here when I can just put them on inside the tour pack where the wires are anyway and just run it back down here. So Absolutely. that's kind of what I do. So like Chris said, you can run it on the outside and that's fine, but he's just gonna run it on the inside. So me being me, um, getting a little rough on stuff, not slamming stuff in the door sometimes. You know, uh, just a little bit safer for uh, getting a little ornery. Always wipe with alcohol. Always wipe with alcohol, even if it burns. Because you'll want it so clean. This one's got to be really, really careful about sticking because there's a lot of sticking. It's going to stick and it's going to The stick them back. Gotta be, dude, and it is like, holy shit, it takes. It ain't no second take, it's the first take. There it is. The stick em. looking forward to these guys because like I was saying earlier and I have said over and over and over we have trouble sending our bags at night and what Chris is doing right now is getting everything set up and wired up so we can put the custom dynamic LED lights in our saddle bags and our tour pack so actually the lights wire in plug and play you stick them in there mount them and then you're able to push a button on and off so it has an on and off switch right in the middle of the LEDs. And then I'll show you that as we get farther into the video. But they're gonna be handy for us. Oh, show. You know what the fun part is? Hiding all these wires. Dude, I know, and I watch you. It's a magical thing. On and off switch. Click, click. You got a good feel to it. And these, like I said, they're heavy. So the placement of the custom dynamic and their eye sheet set right directly in the middle of the tour packs. So. Right in the middle. So okay. I think we're also probably going to have to mod the uh, the liner, but we'll do. They didn't say anything about it, but I'm like, there's no way. Yeah, because I was thinking that because we got to put it on there, and you can see right here the liner is not notched out for that light. It only makes sense that it would go on the bottom because if you went on the top, you have the water. Okay. 
So I was picked, I don't know, learning. That's they it, say dude. Once again, new to us. Just got Chris evil eyed. Oh, would you look at that? Now we can read a book in a tour pack at look, night. Read the action. Read the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> we got That's light. That's why I was missing the light. That's why I couldn't see. We got light to read the instructions. Thank you, Custom Dynamics. Plug it in first before you read the instructions. It helps you. So it does say that we will have to modify our liner of our tour pack. No big deal. Well worth having some light. And now Chris modifies the liner to fit the custom dynamic LED tour pack lights. With surgeon-like precision, he cuts with a box knife. Box knife. Precisely where it no, needs no to be. No, precisely. Yeah, precisely. Okay, Chris, so this is the first time I've seen these, so they really Change these a lot through custom dynamics because used to you got the inserts that stuck in yes in the original oem latches so this is actually the whole thing it's a direct replacement so, so i'm going to hold them up a little bit for you guys to see exactly what you're getting if you get them and those are the low profile bag lights that go right underneath your lids on the back there we've ran them a ton Sequential red run break and red turn. Se se sequential. The word of the day. Sequential. Very close. Se se sequential. Se sequential. Sasqu Sasquatch. Sequential. Sequential. Sequential? Maybe I should ask everybody how to say that word. Would that be fun? Sequential. Uh, there it is. Sequential. Sequential. I did it. Uh, I did it one time and I'm not going to try again. Uh, we're going to let Chris try though. So Chris, can can you say it one time for me? Sequential. Fuck. I know you just nailed it. That's so not fun when somebody does it. But first. I've also said it like five times now, so I got it. Yeah, <laughs> but still, the first time I asked you, you nailed it. And that makes me feel very insecure about my pronouncing of the vocabulary words that we're learning today on the Big Board Build series here on YouTube at Picture Harley Davidson. That they time out. Oh, they time out? Yeah. So actually, it's on for, I think it's about five minutes, but they will time out because I was using it to actually. Uh, to look in here, running all the, the wires for this and the trend. Yeah. And then it actually just turned itself off. So there's no worry about the battery running down or anything like oh, that. Oh man, so. another cool thing. And they look great, man. They're tucked in their nose. And then it's gonna help. Once again, my way. Yep, Chris's way once again. They have you go over the top. Don't really like it too much. We've had issues with Bags closing and such, so I just drill a little small hole. Yep. Run it on the inside. Everything went together good though, as far as the new latch light. Uh, yeah, no problems at all. Yep, no problems. Good deal. Loving it. So, like Chris said over there, he kind of does it his way, of course. But you can see over here the finish product that he's doing over there. I'll kind of roll this over and you can see the custom dynamic latch light itself and how great it looks. Got some Rick Rack locks there. If you haven't checked those out, you can check those out too and get away from the arm that Harley Davidson has because I always catch stuff on those arms. So, you know, the arms that lock in, these actually turn and then click, click, click. And then there's nothing there to catch. Your great too. product by rick rack yeah. Woo! all right guys if you're liking this content in this video give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to our channel if you do that it'd make my heart so happy and if you'd hit that bell that'll let you know when stuff releases the newest greatest video that's right <laughs>